Hello guys! This is Dead Blogging Gamer Mom and welcome to a new playthrough. This game is called Muttlarks. Um, I have never played it before. Okay, sorry about that. I had to adjust the window. This is a new indie horror game. Um, I'm not sure if it's story driven, but like I said, I was searching for some more indie horror games to play and this is one of the ones that I have actually found. I'm hoping, I am hoping, hoping that it will be a little bit better than um, Insight. Yeah, so let's get to it. It looks like I can also save because it has low gain, so let us get into this. <laughs> this is still, uh oh, Mudlark. A person who scavenges in river mud for objects of value. Okay. <laughs> really? London. UK. Oh my goodness. What do I do? Who am I? What are they doing? Am I supposed to move one of them? Found anything decent, Vincent? Did I? Not really. A lot of stems, but nothing patterned. I found a reasonable clay pipe, uh, pipe bowl. Cool, man. This weather is getting atrocious, though. Yeah, I think we should head to the pub soon. My hands are freezing. <laughs> Look at how he walks. <laughs> Am I... For centuries, people have been coming here to the banks of River Thames to try their luck at uncovering treasures found from the mud in the filth. These people, like us, mudlarkers, as we are known, have found all sorts of things down here, from valuable jewels, to suits of armor, statues of Roman deities, and other such wonders. But these days, pickings are few and far between. I'm more likely to prick my finger on a hy hypodermic needle, a uh, hypodermic needle, than uncover a musket. It has been another fun day of mudlarking, but we only got a few broken clay pipes to show for it. Okay. Wow. Uh, sorry about that. Um, I'm, while I'm doing this, I'm also uh, uploading, not uploading, but saving um, out The uh, Sims 3. Uh, so that'll be posted. Uh, the wind is really starting to pick up. We should probably think of heading off now. There's a cold bite of air and the tide will be rising soon. From where? All right. Would you like a tutorial on how to play? Mm. Sure. In Mudlark, you use your mouse cursor to interact with the world around Winston. Right-clicking the mouse button will change your active cursor, while left-clicking on areas in the game will allow Winston to interact with his environment, based on which cursor is selected. Okay. Click next to find. Okay. There are five active cursors in Mudlark. Walk, look, interact, talk. The fifth cursor will show your your currently selected inventory item. You can access your inventory and setting panels by moving the mouse cursor to the left top. I'm gonna read all of this, um, and then I'll come back. You ready? Okay. Well, all right. So I finished reading that. It was just a. I don't understand. Oh. Okay. Well, it's not like I can necessarily pick anything up. What is this? Look at how I can't get over how they walk. Is that a giant pepper picking up? It's not one to read. Okay. Then don't pick it up. Let's just. There's nothing else here. I can't go back here, right? Oh. I don't think I'm going to be able to get all the way he walks. Come over here. What's over here? Can I go in there? Now, if I'm not mistaken, um. Before, I know I should go talk to, what's his name? Better not leave without Vincent. Then Vincent needs to, oh, I hate the way he's looking at me, looking over here. He kind of reminds me, would you come over here? Okay. Um. This character kind of reminds me of Mortal Kombat. The guy that goes, woohoo! Okay. Let's talk to Vincent. Hey, Vincent, I'm ready to go. It's getting pretty cold out here. 
Yeah, I think we should head back now. Whoa, behind you. Did you see that shooting star? It's daytime. Missed it. It was very quick. Anyways, it's a shame we didn't find anything moment, uh, monumental today. One day, Winnie, one day, we will find something big. Did he just call him Winnie? I know it. Fingers crossed. A nice Roman jug, perhaps. Wouldn't that be grand? Maybe even worth a few grand. Okay, let's go to the pub. Just a tick. <laughs> just a tick. Taking it all in. Okay, well, that was pointless for me to come over here and talk to you if you're not even ready to leave. And look, he's doing exactly what I just did a few seconds ago. Do you guys hear that train? Come on, Slowpoke. Meet you at the pub. Mm -mm, dun dun dun. What's going on? You about to eat that giant pepper behind you? What a view. Okay. Alrighty then. The, hmm, what is that? Really? And then you've happened to find- okay. You didn't see that the first time? Wait for me! Run! <laughs> the way they move kind of remind me of the um, South Park characters. Mudlarks. Alright, I'm gonna try not to talk so much during this. There's no need to talk, I'm just gonna try to get into the story. Two days later. Now, don't be mad at me if I don't know who these two people are, because I don't. Well, my love, I better be going to work. I don't know, I suppose. What are you going to do today? I think I might call a visit and ask if he wants to go mudlarking again. Okay. You only went a couple of days ago. They only went two days ago. I know, but he really found something last time. What did he find? All you guys seem to find are those... those... <laughs> Sorry guys, I don't cuss. <laughs> so I'm gonna skip the cuss words um, and just say broken pipes. You mean historical, historical, fascinating, incredible broken clay pipes? Of course. All I can say is if Vincent had a girlfriend to give it to, she would be a happy lass. Why? It's a piece of jewelry, a locket. From what I briefly saw of it, it seems to be made of gold and looks very old. Okay. Why can't you ever find anything like that for me? You want old gold? Okay. A nice brooch or something. Look, you just got upset with the fact that they were going mudlarking and now you're like, find me something. But look at all these beautiful clay pipes and ceramics I have found for you. I wish, I wish somebody would give me a clay pipe. Yes, my love, they are great. But yes, so he found actual jewelry. That is incredible. It is amazing. Sorry, I really have to be going now. Jerry will be on my case if I'm late. Okay. Uh, I've left you a muffin on the table. Enjoy your leisurely day. A muffin? Oh, ooh, nice. Thanks. I wish I had a week off too. See you tonight. Have a good day. See you. Uh, you too. See you later. She wow. I meant to take this muffin before I forget. Blueberry, not my favorite. I'll have it later. Hey, what I really want is full English. What better way to start my holiday than a newspaper and a greasy fried breakfast? I'll give Vincent a call when I'm there. I wouldn't mind another mudlarking session today, and I need to hear more about this locket. Alright. I can't believe one of us actually found something that could be genuinely valuable down there. I wouldn't really think much of it. Speak of the devil, it's Vincent calling. All right, mate. Hey, man. Um, who I get to choose? Um, ask about Locket. Let's see what's up. I'm tired of hearing about the Locket. What's up? What are you doing right now? Not much. Just going to have some breakfast. Do you want to come mudlarking with me? I was actually going to ask you the same thing. See, it just come tied back to this, regardless of what I pick. This Locket is incredible. We need to have another look down there. Have you found out anything about else about the locket? I've shown a couple of people, and they both think that it is made out of gold. Really? Really. The chain is missing. But I have the crazy feeling that if we start, if we were to search, wait, if we search around, 
where I found the lock, we might find it. Y'all are already down there. That's a long shot. But well, worth a look. Definitely. Ask about locket. Ask about photo inside. Yeah, let's ask about the photo inside. What do you think about the photos inside? Photos inside look genuinely old. They definitely do. I wonder who they are. Not a clue. All we have at the moment is that they are an older woman, woman and a younger woman. It's fascinating, isn't it? To try to imagine who those people are. I have the joys of mudlarking, uncovering these stories. I really want to find out who they are, but I will tell you more about that later. Whatever the story is, we have found something that is actually valuable in monetary terms. <laughs> Heck yeah! Uh, ask about locket. We already did that, but okay. How old do you think the locket is? It's hard to say. There aren't any um, markers, maker's mark on it or anything. Nothing at all? Nope. The only thing unusual about it is that there's a bit of groove on a groove, a bit of a groove on the back of it. Maybe we could take it to someone who might be able to tell us more about it. That's a great idea. While well, you guys are, ask about what to do next. So what shall we do? Meet me down at the river in an hour at the entrance. Aw, oh, please don't tell me I gotta keep track of time in these games. I'm not very good at that. We could take it from there. Shall I bring anything? Please bring your metal detector. We can search the area around where I found the locket and hopefully we can find the chain. Or more lockets. Indeed. Isn't it exciting? We have finally found something. So they're like metal detector, whatever. It is so great. Even if we don't find anything else, we need to take this locket somewhere to be examined. Totally. I'm sure someone will help us uh, find some more info about it. Um, hang up. Cool, man. See you in a bit. Please remember to bring the metal detector. No problem. I will get it now. See you soon. Cheers. See ya. <laughs> I better find that metal detector. We had a robbery lately, and ever since then, Lori has gone mad with security. Hold on, sorry, my dog is barking. Alrighty, sorry about that. The dog is, like, outside my door. He likes barking at just about everything. Okay, we had a robbery lately, and ever since then, Lori has gone mad uh, with security hiding things. I have no idea where she has put it. So, why did she hide your stuff? I don't understand. Oh, look. I don't think it's much to say. Tea bags and milk. Can I, can I take it? Is this where I keep tea bags? Okay, whatever. Saves time instead of going to the kitchen. Can I take it? MP3 player. It's an old newspaper. I haven't got many songs on this at the moment, just a few tracks of incidental music. I've been working on for a friend's project. I would sell one of these in uh, one of my internal organs to see this man in concert. My girlfriend is not happy that this is on the wall. An old habit dies hard. What is this? My beloved Teddy. This little fella has traveled with me all around the world. I've had him since I was little. Aww. See, everything I had since I was little ended up just lost. A, a stray sock. What is this? Handbag. Gloria is always leaving her handbag everywhere. A girl can't have enough of them, apparently. That is not true. I don't have a lot of handbags. Well, you know, I wear my bags out. <laughs> it's my dear fresh fish nippy. I've had them for about ten years now. Wow. Nothing more soothing than sitting and watching this little chap swim around in his leafy surrounding. Okay, this is kind of getting... Uh, I don't know where to find it. It's a... Nippy was ill recently. And this book pointed me in the right direction for the medicine I needed. They got... This is where I keep my treasures. Plus the things I found from mudlarking. So they're kind of like raiders. Kind of like Tomb Raider. This vase was given to Lori as a birthday present. Let's check under the bed. She might have hidden it under there. There's nothing under there. We used to store some things, but... Then they got all moldy, so not anymore. This is a small place. Let's move this out of the way. Can you move this out of the way? Now is not the time to be worrying about the laundry. I'm trying to move it out of the way. I can't leave without the metal detector. Now where on earth did I put it? You know, that's a very good question. That's what I've been trying to figure out. Where the freak did she hide it? I don't feel like going to bed. Okay. Checking the drawers. Oh well. Let's have a look. If she put the milk- Okay, it might be over here. Water bottles, makeup, and a small selection of coins. She won't mind if I borrow a couple pounds. <laughs> 
Open a drawer. The drawer is locked. No. Oh, what's in there? Is there anything in there? No? Okay. Okay. I don't like how I have to, okay, open it and then look inside. There's nothing in here. Okay, that's all y'all had to say. Rubbish bin. There's nothing, there's nothing of note in here. Banana peels and used tissues. Okay. Maybe what we should do is hold Lori's bag ransom until she decides she wants to give him his stuff back. Like, why would you hide his stuff? I don't know, where is the... Can you come over here? Can you come over a little bit more? Come over this way? See, this room isn't very... Okay, let's check the bookshelf. You don't need to read. I just need to find out where the stupid metal detector is. Okay, maybe I'm missing something. Is it under the... I don't feel like sitting down. I'm not asking you to. I just want you to move the chair out of the way. Where would she put it? Why don't you just call her and ask her? That would be that would make a lot more sense. You know what? I don't <laughs> I don't know where it is. Wait, what is is it in here? No? Let's have a closer look. Oh, cool. Can I take any of this stuff? I don't want to remove it from the case. Shark two. Clay pipe bow. Oh, so these are the things he's talking about. I mean, what's she go do with this kind of stuff? I don't understand. I mean, I guess if she's into him, she'd be into what he's into, so. Close that up. Um, I'm seriously thinking I'm missing something. Uh, I don't know. Where, where should I do? To think, I'm having such a hard time with this. Oh wait, maybe now he can look under it. There's nothing under there. Dude, you need to do something then. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Maybe, let's try walking over. I bet it's the simplest thing. Let's come over here. Can you move this out of the way? Look, she probably hid it under your sheets. But no, he doesn't want to check. He just wants to tell me what he can and can't do. Fish tank or box. This is obviously a puzzle. Let's check the treasure box. That's a funny idea. What is? I didn't do anything. Okay, so, oh, there's the key. Are you serious? Freaking. Lori really outdoes herself with the security measures. Wow. Wow, that was very annoying. Put that back. Okay. So it, I found it when I was clicking around in there, so. Pick up this. Okay, exit. Okay, let's open the drawer. That did the trick, it's unlocked. Sweet! Now if she- Now how the freak did she fit a metal detector inside a drawer? I'm not entirely sure why this was locked uh, in the valuable drawer. It only costs 10 pounds. It's certainly useful though. Vincent and I found a few old coins using this down on the t Okay. Okay, just close that then. Alrighty, let's go. It's had to be stuck in this room. <laughs> um, oh, look, it's a bird. Hi, pigeon! 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 Be my be my teacher, pigeon! It's not normally a bird I would be chasing after. Well, I want you to. Door. The door is locked. Okay. Oh, no, wait! I better not go down to the shore without Vincent. Hey, I didn't see you there going on? 
how he's looking into the camera. <laughs> what is up with that face? It vented, my friend, and fell in my larger. Okay. No romantic embraces, please. Okay. Let's talk to him. Hey, man. Winnie! Good timing. I just got here. And it didn't look like you just got here to me. You were standing there. Yeah, I took two. No dramas on the northern line today. That makes a change. Are you okay? You look a little tired. I'm okay. Just didn't get much sleep last night. Vincent looks a bit weary and almost troubled. I'll ask him when we get to the shore. Did you bring along the metal detector? Sure did. Despite the fact that Lori freaking hid it inside of a drawer. The freak, how does she fit it in there? <laughs> that girl. Let's put this baby to use then. Let's see if we can uncover something else. This locket is the real deal. I really hope there's something else there. The chain or even more lockets. Crap, my phone is ringing. It's probably Lori. Just go on ahead and I'll meet you down there. Okay, man. See you in a bit. Let's find some treasure. <laughs> he just walks sideways to the door and just disappears. Hello? Hey. Just giving you a quick call to say I'll be uh, late home tonight. Drinks with the girls after work. Okay, no worries. I'll, I'll probably head out with Vince for a few beers after we finish malt locking anyways. Cool. Well, have a good time. Thanks, you too. I hope you find some treasures. Me too. See you later. Bye-bye. I better catch up with Vincent. Just seeing. You go walk sideways in there too? See, no, you turned around. Your friend just decided he wanted to be weird with it. Okay, go to the shore. Where has he got? Where has he got to? I'll call him on his mobile. It's gone straight to voicemail. Oh no, he disappeared. Perhaps he is out of battery or something. What? He should have charged his phone up. He was just there a few seconds ago. You were not on the phone that long. Oh well, he must be around here somewhere. Ah, crap. Now I gotta look for him. Vincent! Vincent, where are you? Don't you be playing around. Are you over here by this thing? He's staring out at the ocean again. Uh-oh, did he fall in the water? The mighty river. Heart of London for centuries. Who knows what secrets are contained in its, far de in its farthest depths. Your friend is in there. I believe- Wait, what is that? Is that something out there? Okay, come over here. Oh, maybe? Did he- <laughs> Probably not likely, but did he somehow jump up there? He's probably up there on top of the bridge, like, about to make a jump for it. Vincent, what freak are you, man? This isn't funny anymore. Nope. Further down short. Oh, cool, I can do that. No, let's go. I don't think it... So you just don't want to do what I tell you to do. What's the point of this? You don't even listen to me. Girl, thank you. Sweet. I didn't even know this was over here. Um, okay, so I'm not seeing anything I can pick up, so let's continue on. Ah, oh, darn it. I missed all of this? Uh-oh. Somebody kidnapped Vincent. Looks like we're continuing onwards. Vincent, where are you? Vincent is not here either. This is weird. I saw him going through the entrance to the foreshore. There's no way he could have passed. E we could have passed each other. The way to the foreshore is also the only way out. I better try his number again. You don't seem very worried. Voicemail again. Vincent. Vince. Darn dog. Hold on. Okay, the dog is barking at any and everything. This is the problem with recording during the daytime. Okay, I really can't. Uh, work out where he has gone. He seems to have completely disappeared. I would think he probably fell in the water. Perhaps there's a way off the beach that I don't know about. No, I doubt that's it. Ooh, who is that? Oh. <laughs> Good morning. Hi there. This man looks like a scientist. I wonder what he's doing here. I should ask him if, I should ask him if he has seen Vincent. Excuse me, may I have a word? 
Sorry, but you shouldn't be down here on the foreshore. Why not? Please leave now. It's not safe here. Then why are you here? <laughs> exactly. I'm simply having a quiet moment away from the, my colleagues as I attempt to eat my breakfast. Well, how do you know he's not doing the same thing, Mr. Scientist? This is rather disappointing. This, this is rather disappointing, Flapjack. Hmm. Maybe I can get more out of him with a little food bribe. Do you want this muffin? Blueberry? I love blueberry muffins. Are you sure you don't want it? Here, take it. Oh man, he is short. Why, thank you. What a calm young man. For that, I would give you a few minutes of my time. But you really must leave soon. Wow, if everybody was that nice. Here, you want a blueberry muffin? Sure, I'll answer all your questions for you. Okay. Um, why must I leave the shore? Uh, let's ask about Vincent. Have you seen a man passing by here? My friend Vincent appears to have disappeared. He must have passed you on the way here. I'm afraid that I haven't seen any one young man. Are you sure about six feet, brown hair, beard, thirty-ish? There, wow. I certainly haven't seen him. He can't have disappeared. I'm not very familiar with this uh, stretch of t um. How the freak these Thames? Thames? I don't know. Perhaps your friends has left the shore via another exit. There is only one exit. The way you must have come in. He didn't come in. He teleported. Then I'm afraid I really can't help you, my dear sir. See, he never said that he didn't teleport. My colleagues are further down shore. Perhaps you can ask them. But I can swear I haven't seen anything. I would not lie to a man who has no gen who has so generously give given me his blueberry muffin. Hmm. Why must I leave the shore? Ah, oh, so he asks them anyways. Are you serious? Of course I'm serious. I come here every week and no one has ever told me to leave before. Let alone a man who appears to be some sort of scientist. Haven't you heard about the meteor shower? No. Unbelievable how the youths today can be completely oblivious to major events going on around them. Huh? Huh. <sighs> I had spent the last two days in, in a hungover super stupor. Okay, I'm sorry. I can't get the word out. I'm not going to even try. Glued to watching DVDs as I recovered from a big night out with Lori and her fr and our friends. Two days ago, around 6 p.m., a, meteor sh a meteorite shower uh, of a very clustered and confined nature landed about 100 miles upstream in the river. Ah, kind of think of it. I did see a shooting star around that time. Oh, so he wasn't joking. <laughs> Precisely. Uh, ask about meteorite shower. Who are you? What are you doing here? Um, well, we already know what he's doing here. Let's ask about the shower. Why does the meteor landing in uh, Thames mean that I have to leave the shore? There was something strange about the meteor shower. Strange. It was not picked up on any satellite equipment or interstellar objects tracking and communication networks have been erratic ever since. This must be why I can't get through to him. Ah, oh. are meteors usually picked up? Uh, by these object trackers and satellites? Certainly, but these are not the only strange things about this shower. Wow, they are talking a lot. What else has happened? What on earth is going on? Since it landed, there have been reports the length and breadth of the Thames are of massive tidal fluctuations. Oh, see? He's in the water. Freak tides that have been sweeping people away in moments of sudden ferocity. Oh no, has this happened to Vincent? We must get someone out there to search for him. I'm afraid that won't be possible. No direct contact is allowed with the water for fear of contamination. I figured Vincent fell in, but that was so quick. He, was, he wasn't he was even on the phone that long. Contamination? But my friend could be in there somewhere, drowned. Our initial readings upon arriving here a few minutes ago seems to indicate that any tidal occurrences are likely to have happened here in the last couple of hours. So are you saying Vincent is safe? All I can say is I haven't seen your friend. I really hope this is all a major exaggeration. Surely I would have seen this tidal occurrence or heard Vincent struggling if this had happened. He was only a minute ahead of me. But this is very strange. Very strange indeed. Uh, ask about contamination. What is the con this contamination you speak of? The water has been acting very strangely since the impact. 
We need to conduct further tests before I can confirm the nature of the contamination. Is it serious? Initial tests on meteorites found have shown that they contain completely unknown elements not found anywhere on Earth. Ah, aliens? Whatever these elements are, we believe they are causing ties to suddenly have a violent mind of their own. Incredible. This is why you must leave, sir. For all we know, these meteorites have may have released something fatal, something fatal, contamination in the water. Why hasn't the times been buried off? Why was I allowed here if all this has been going on? Somebody removed the barriers this morning. It had disappeared completely when we arrived. Was it you? That would be a criminal offense, you know. No way. When Vincent and I arrived, we walked straight in. Well, I really must ask you to leave for your own health. You may need to be tested by my colleagues on your way out for contamination. Tested? Of course. If you show signs of infection from the water, you will have to go into quarantine. Quarantine? In fact, that might be where your friend is now. Really? He didn't pass by him. Please go. My colleagues will talk to you more about it. I don't like the sound of this. First, Vincent is missing. Now I must be put on some sort of quarantine for the meteorite-related infection. What is going on? Um, what are you, what are you going, what are you doing here? Ah, uh, he said he was eating, but let's ask him anyways. What are you doing here? I work for UKASA, and we are conducting tests around the recent meteor shower, as I have told you. It's really not safe for you to be here. Yeah, it would be redundant, Mr. Scientist. How is it safe for you to be here? Exactly. I'm a trained man. I know exactly what to do in the event of a tidal incident, and I have the equipment to save my life. I don't see anything on you. Would you go use that muffin? You gonna float in that muffin? You so full of yourself. You, on the other hand, do not. What is the UKSA? The United Kingdom Aeronautic and Space Agency. Wow. Ah, <laughs> uh, goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you for the muffin, but please leave as quickly as you can. Um, look how he's eating on that muffin, though. <laughs> I should have a look for more clues. Vince can't have just disappeared here. What the heck do you want me to do? Um, and look what I found. There's a locket right here on the ground. Let's go pick that up. And dun dun dun. It's the locket that Vincent had, isn't it? The locket Vincent that Vincent found. He really wouldn't be so careless to drop this. Something is up here. This could be a very serious. What if he has been swept away and... I have to find him. Surely the scientists would have seen him go past. With all the meteor shower related tidal fluctuations um, and contamination going on, I really have to find Vincent. If he is out not on the shore, I have to get back up onto the street and have a look. Maybe the pub we go to regularly is a good start. It's just around the corner. Uh oh, his friend is missing. very what who are you guys when did you get here okay uh, y'all y'all just set up and everything everything you just seem like you've been here hello excuse me yes um ask about Vincent have you seen my friend Vincent can you see we are busy what are you doing on the shore anyways I've been through this with your colleague have you seen a brown-haired man with a beard around 6 foot 30-ish years old pass this way in the few, last few minutes? Sir, we are the UKASA office, officers here conducting official and confidential business. Any man on this beach should have been tested and taken to quarantine. So you haven't seen him. Any man seen on this beach would have been tested and taken to quarantine. You are not answering the question. Don't be an a-hole. My friend is missing. Cut the crap. Exactly! Sir, swearing <laughs> swearing at a UKSA employee is a criminal offense. Since when is crap a swear word? This is prohibited area, and the fact that you are here is almost alarming. You must uh, submit yourself to us for a test. Can you tell me if he has gone to a quarantine area? That is classified information. Those in quarantine cannot be named. But my friend is missing. He entered the shore a minute before me, and now he's gone. Having dropped his precious golden, lock, golden uh, locket, missing persons must be reported to the police. 
Now, please submit yourself to us for a blood test to determine your level of contamination. Listen, man. Whatever. I won't do it. I must find my friend. You'll be blocked from leaving the beach until you have completed this test. Is this about to turn into GTA? Y'all give me a gun? Because I will shoot this man. Or run him down with a car. A positive results will be seen. Uh, we'll see you earmarked for quarantine. This man is impossible. I did not have time for this this while Vincent is missing, even drowning downstream somewhere. No, don't talk to him anymore. Yeah, goodbye. You will not be able to leave until the test has been completed and your quarantine status confirmed. I do not like this guy. Whatever. Yeah, go back to writing. Go back to your writing. Let me ask this guy. Yeah, are you nicer than him? Hello there. He's too uh, too busy in his work to even notice me. I'm just going to take a look at your table here. Judging by the utensils and paraphernalia uh, on the table, he seems to be testing the water for something. Wow. Wow, that's very, um... I'm going to leave. And I wish, I wish you right here, Mr. Scientist Man, would touch me. Yep, see, I, I knew you weren't. Who the freak? Since when did all this stuff happen? He wasn't even okay. <laughs> They're just like, hey, let's just appear. Nope, I'm going to the pub. And there's nothing you could do or say to stop me. Nope, just go. Just go on right through there. At least I wish you would say something to me. Pull out a pistol and a pistol with him. Oh gosh. Massive tents of barriers have been set up, blocking the exit. So we have to talk to the police, man. Come on, let's talk to the police officer. There's no denying that this is something we have to do. Excuse me, officer. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> what are you, Rihanna? What do you have here? Report a missing person. Why is the exit blocked? Yeah. Why is the exit blocked? The exit is blocked, sir, because this is a prohibited area. Since when? Since five minutes ago? Really? You are breaking the law by being here. The barrier wasn't here when we arrived. Were you the slimy Frankie Howard who committed this lemon lime? What? If by that you mean that I moved the barrier, no, I certainly did not. Anyways, you cannot get through here until you have been tested for contamination. You're just the dude, the scientist dude in the police officer outfit, aren't you? There are some men of science down there who you must talk to for this. But, no buts. <sighs> I have, what is that, gov Govna? No buts, Govna. What? You have to take the test. The beliefs man takes out his radio. This is Norman to Dr. R Ronald. Reynold? Do you come in over? I can't make out the crap of reply. I got one for testing. I'm going to send me your over. Over. A sharp crackle signals the response. Alright, mate. No option but to get the test done. I'm going to report Mrs. Person. Then I'm out of here. He better. He should just make a run for it. Officer, I would like to report a missing person. A missing person, you say, Governor? Why you keep calling him Governor? Who ain't a missing person these days? It's all gone Pete Tong since that lemon shower. Have you seen a brown-haired man with a beard? I like how he... <laughs> I like how he just ignored what the police officer just said. Uh, 30-ish old, uh, years old and around 6 feet tall around here in the last 30 minutes. How about heck? I've been pulling out this bloody, bar this bloody barrier after some pull up pulled down the last one. Said so my friend is missing. Please help. How long has your friend been missing then? Well, about half an hour. You are giving me a, a giraffe mate. Pardon? You are having a laugh, ain't ya? He's probably gone to the pub for a pig ears, mate. We got missing people all over Greater London. Thames is pulling them under, left and right, centric. Little Doris is down to feed the ducks, and bam, she's under the water and brown bread for all we know. What the heck is he talking about? So you were saying you don't care that my friend has gone missing? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Look, son, you come back to me when you, he has gone, he has been gone for three days, and then we can talk. By then, he gonna be already dead. What's the point? You can't help him if he's dead. Until then, we ain't got the resources. This is the first class lazy bastard we have right here. Exactly. I need to get out of here so I can find Vincent. Perhaps he is right through, uh, he is right, though. What if I'm panicking for nothing? If Vincent has left the Thames, the first place to look, um, uh, to look 
Might be the pub. Then I could find the quarantine area and see if he's there. How can I get here? The only way you, you're getting out of here, but you are getting out, is if you pass the test. If you fail, those eggheads over there would take you to their quarantine tent up on the bank. I get the feeling you were going to to get help me find my friend. Not going to let me. Uh, wait. Okay, I gotta reread this. I get the feeling you are not going to help me find my friend. Not going to let me pass, and are going to force me to do the to test. The policeman smiled. You freaking son of a bull. Oh. No, I'm not asking you. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to ask you about it. Tell me more about the meteorites. I ain't no scientist, am I? It was a bunch of meteorites that crashed into our beloved Thames two nights ago. Um, since then, the water has been uh, swelling up and down the river, dragging people under. Across the whole nation, the... I keep saying Thames, but I don't think that's what it is. It's being blocked off until they work out what's going on. What have they found out so far? Well, all I know is that the meteorites have been washing up and people have been crashing in on it, big time. What do you mean crashing in? My wife, Noreen, her cousin, Geroff? Well, he found a bit yesterday, he found a bit yesterday while he was down in the river with his dog. Sold it today for, wait for it, 6,000 pounds, 60,000 pounds. Wow, who brought it? Black market trade, in it? This stuff from outer space was for God's sake. Are you endorsing illegal selling for prohibit, uh, of prohibited and dangerous goods? Oi, don't you dare say that to me, my friend. Hey, he's just repeating back to you what you were saying to him. Isn't it dangerous to handle the fragments? Can't you get sick or contaminated? All I would say is if a piece of that fell into my hands, I would be out of here like a shot to my nearest shifty said and on a first class flight to been a dorms and a heartbeat mate. This man is clearly corrupt, a corrupt piece of work. Perhaps I can work this in my favor. Um, what did the meteor fragments, oh, oh, I see where this is going. <laughs> what did the meteor fragments look like? All I know is that they are black, shiny, and worth a bloody fortune. Oh, it's Jamie Jesus, uh, Geezer that makes a fortune out of a bloody nation, national crisis. All right, I see where this is going. Goodbye. Here, take this form. You need to give that to Dr. Rhino, the chief scientist down there, so he can do your test. I'm not getting the test! Forget that man! Fill, it, fill that in. If you're all clear, I'll let you pass. If you fail, you're going to the quarantine. Thanks, I guess. No, no thanks. Let's, no, let's, come on, where is that? Show it to me. There we go. We are going to use this metal detector see if we can find some gold but we are going to do that next time so that's all I'm gonna do for now I'm gonna stop here so I think I've done a decent amount I'm gonna say this was mudlark it is getting a little bit interesting uh, besides the parts when I get stuck <laughs> I don't want to spend too much time uh, doing absolutely nothing I'm wondering where Vincent went um, well, we'll find out in the next episode. I will see you guys then. Take care.